Hey everybody, how's it going? So what's new in Port Midway? Well, Bertie, come here, come here. Look over here. Bertie. There we go. Uh, I'd like you to meet Bertie. She, for some reason, likes to be patted more. Here, over here. There you go. Uh, Bertie's a rescue dog from Anna's uh, Rescue. Uh, they bring uh, dogs that are set up for kill shelters uh, down in Texas. I know there's a lot of people that are saying we have our own dogs here. I looked around here and quite frankly had a hard time getting a, a dog here. Uh, I applied at Anna's and uh, was relatively quick to get uh, approved. I lucked out in that Birdie is a... Uh, <laughs> she's a ham. Uh, Birdie is... Um, was being taken care of uh, by Anna herself. She was fostering her. She had some pups on the street and uh, they took her in and all the pups got adopted and Bertie's been with her for about a year. Um, it was uh, an interesting process to get her. And then when I finally was able to uh, get her, we had to go to New Brunswick, we went to Moncton. Um, you really don't know what kind of dog you're getting when you get from some of these rescues, right? I lucked out that the, the lady that uh, runs the charity was the one that had Birdie. And uh, I got some, a lot of people that were dealing with Birdie, I got to know, not know them, but they were part of my group and would tell me what she was like and stuff. Uh, and it was funny to hear some of this stuff. Like I said to them today, oh my God, she snores like a transport truck. And they were laughing, saying, we forgot to tell you about that. Um, she also told me about different things, that she doesn't like playing with toys. And she was right on. She could care less about toys. She'd rather sit there and have me, like, watch what the minute I stop. Oh, she's going to make a wire out of me. <laughs> um, she normally will just literally chase up to me and want me to pat her. She's a great temperament dog. She's very quiet, very gentle. Um... I've been taking my time introducing her to people because I'm just afraid that I, I just don't want to do sensory overload. When I picked her up that night, uh, Joanne and I went to pick her up in New Brunswick and a big shout out to Joanne for going with me in, on this adventure. Um, we, uh, after we got Birdie, there's some video of her on my Facebook. And you can see she's really nervous, crawling to the ground. We took her over to the, to the grass and, uh, she right off put her paws right up to me and was trying to snuggle into me. And she, you could tell she was scared. Um, stunk. Something fierce. Good Lord. I guess because all the dogs that are in the cages and stuff when they're bringing them up, they're trying to keep them clean and stuff. But it's pretty hard when you get stopped at the border and you're told you got to do two or three hours worth of work just to get the dogs across. Um, anyway, we, we went from the grassy knoll. Um, and then when we're walking up to my, tra my truck, and Birdie's never been to my truck, but we walked past a couple other pickups, and just as we're getting to mine, she turns and goes right for my driver's door and sits there waiting for me. This was really weird. And then once she got in the truck, she kind of, you know, hung around the backside of my seat. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is one that was meant to be sort of thing. Um, I tried to introduce her to Nelson, my brother-in-law's dog, but... You know, Nelson's very used to having me to himself, and suddenly seeing another dog with me did not really go over very well with him. And Birdie was just a mess. She pulled in behind me and, you know, ended up peeing on the ground because she was so scared. And then I had to bring her in the house because it just was not a good match at this point. I think any dog that's coming out of a rescue situation like this, you got to give them time to just settle in. So, you know, it's been two days of being in the house with me and, you know, basically slept most of the two days um and i try to you know leave her out to like she's got a well actually what we're sitting on is a mattress for a kennel but she didn't really like the kennel she loved the mattress so i took the mattress out and said hey so she's sleeping on this most of the time or she sleeps on the couch where i've got a blanket for her and today pretty much all day she was on the couch um very affectionate dog um if you see us in Port Midway, I'd ask you to just kind of don't rush up to her, try and pat her. Just leave her be as far as if you're walking up to me and talking to me. Let her go to you. 
Um, I kind of want to give her some space and time, just let her settle in. Although I think she's she's already after two days showing to be an awesome dog. Doesn't like the camera apparently. What? You're blocking the camera with your tail. You know that, eh? Um, what? Uh, <laughs> you're blocking the camera, Birdie. There we go. There we go. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, I, I thought the, the rescue people did an amazing job with her. Uh, I took her for a bath today, finally, because I just couldn't take it. Uh, plus, there's more fur in my house than there's ever been. So I decided I want to see if I can wash her and brush her out a bit. So the lady at the pet value, I guess, in Liverpool was absolutely amazing with her. She knew exactly how to talk to the dog. She was a little skittish. And she started talking to Birdie, and Birdie kind of took to her a bit. And then she literally said, Birdie, can you lift your paw? Birdie lifted her paw, stepped right into the harness, and voila. So now Bernie has a new ha uh, collar. She loves their lamb treats. So I, of course, bought a couple bags of that. Um, and uh, she got washed, and she's all nice and soft today and looking fluffy. I think she, oh, oh, I think she figured out her treats are over there. Anyway, she's off strolling away. Uh, other than that, uh, hey, Port Midway, look, look at that. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it that good. Are you going back over, Birdie? You want to put your head down? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I ended up getting that tattoo I said I was going to get. Uh, and despite what my brother-in-law says, it's not a chicken. It's a phoenix. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's all that's happening in Port Midway. Um, hopefully you'll see Birdie out walking around. And if we're on the sailboat. She'll have her life jacket on and out there sailing with me. Oh, there's a perfect picture for you. How's that? Anyway. So I guess that's it, that's it for the video. Uh, I just thought it'd be nice to put something out there to show you the newest member of the family, I guess. Uh, apparently, she doesn't mind playing the guitar, so that's probably a bonus right there. Either that or it's that she's deaf, one of the two. Probably doesn't want to hear. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, hopefully, next time I do a video, it'll be about something, uh, well, I think it's pretty important, pretty cool, actually. Anyway, you all have a good night and a safe day, whatever, you're, whatever it happens to be. And uh, we'll talk to you later.